Guys, pay close attention to this video. I want y'all to really pay attention because this can save y'all life. Uh, it can stop you from taking a life. Also, it can save you a lot of money and looking stupid. Looking like a beta male. Looking like a jackass, a sucker, a lollipop ass nigga. Let's get straight up into it. These girls, a lot of them is uh, opportunists. And some of them not just looking for motion. Some of them not just looking for uh, your clout. They can give a fuck less. We call them setup girls. I'm going to tell you about two females that is so loyal to me. And I still don't understand it. But I don't give a fuck. Because they digmatize. Now, I would not lie about Nell's story that I'm telling y'all. All right. I got this little Puerto Rican chick, right? I don't even send her. Imagine all the guys that got these girls that actually send them to do this. I don't even send my two. They do it automatically. I wake up once a month to a stupid cash out. Uh, sometimes they'll drop it in the mailbox. Sometimes they'll ask to come over and shock me with it. But I'm going to tell you two recent stories that some sucker nigga got caught. I right, my little Puerto Rican chick, she know how to go carding. She know how to break a bank. She know how to get you. So she would get niggas drunk, go over their house, suck them or fuck them. Like I tell you, I'm stoic. I don't know what she be doing. Once a woman not with me, I don't care. She tells me I'm the only one she fucking, but how you getting all these dude cars numbers? Lying to me, but anyway, I don't care because I'm winning. I'm going to tell you how. Listen, listen to it. Y'all stay the story time. I'm rocking with y'all pinned up in the comment section. It's my TikTok, Facebook, Instagram. And y'all start fucking with the community section, man. I need y'all to start engaging in the community section a lot more. And like these videos a lot more, too. But let me just get in finish this because it's a very serious topic so all right the girl would go to these guys house she would bring her home girls they would all party and get drunk her and her home girls would go through guys wallets go through their closet and stuff they didn't care about no weed they didn't care about no money i know it sounds crazy i'm serious the only thing they wanted is their name address and get their social out their social security card they would take pictures of this these girls would go breaking cards, meaning they would get cards and stuff in these guys' name and cash out $5,000, $10,000, $20,000. So I'm listening to her tell me these stories, and I'm like, she already know not to play with me because I'm daddy. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know when you daddy. You guys think you daddy. That's why you get robbed. These girls know for a fact I will shoot them in the face. These are the things that they say. So I'm just going to keep it real. So don't y'all think that... I mean, I'm just a stoic nigga. I don't have feelings. I never hit a bitch, but I shoot the fuck out of hitting this personal. But I hope I ain't losing no subscribers by saying that. I start giving a damn soon as I start giving a fuck. So anyway, all right. So she hit me up last night. It was like, hey, babe. I'm like, what's good? I ain't heard from you in like a week or two. She was like, yeah, I know you don't do no trip. And i like, you already know. She was like, yeah, she's like, well, check your cash out. I said, huh? I looked, it was a thousand dollars. I said, oh, okay, thank you. She said, you had like that one enough. I said, I'm used to you sending more, but I appreciate it though. What, what's this for? Oh, caught a nigga slipping, been working on it for a whole two weeks. That's why you ain't heard from me. I said, word. I don't know how this little pretty bitch do it, but every other month or every month, she sent me thousands of dollars. I fuck her once or twice a year. She just goes around getting niggas information. And then she send me niggas information for me to do what I have to do. If I have to do what I have to do. I run a money hoarding channel. We got, you know, that's a, this is a dating channel. Is, well, we'll keep that over there on my other channel. But if you want to type in global dripping money harder, you know, harder harder stuff up, harder, money harder, global dripping, and it'll pop up. But that's a whole nother channel. That's a whole nother side of me. 
Nah, y'all don't worry about that. So anyway, she be breaking nigga cards. Like for real. Cause she actually um I got a couple of vacant houses that she actually had to send the cards to me and I had to give her the cards and she'll break a nigga off. Now that's white collar crime. Now let's get to what happened last night. Now I hope this guy don't watch this channel, so I'm gonna try to I'm gonna try to speak in code, but he won't know. But they say this guy works. So his girl get mad at him for something petty, not for cheating. I forgot what it was. So she called her homegirl. So I'm the homegirl's boss, literally. She called herself my assistant. She's very submissive. And um, she hit me up and was like, listen, this guy got like 30 pair of Jordans. I like, I don't care about no used Jordans. I like, what size? I ain't gonna say the size. I like, where? She's like, he got a PS5. No controller though. I'm like, oh, okay. What you telling me this for? She's like, and she's like, he got like studio equipment. She was like, and he got, we weighing it up now. He got like 268 grams of weed. Then he got some hash. She was like, and what's this? I don't know what it is. And all this and this and that. She was like, but it's a lot of stuff. And my homegirl was like, he's gone. So come get it all. So I'm finna get it all. What you want me to do with it, daddy? I said, oh, wait a minute. It, 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 you uh, Call me on Telegram or, or, or FaceTime, bitch. You talk. She called me. I said, we're good. She's showing me. So I said, y'all gonna take all this man shit. She was like, hell yeah. I was like, why? She was like, I swear to God, I can't make this up. She said, the girl that submissive to me is a married lady right this is his sister boyfriend shit they taking but the girl that fucks with me is eating the girl's pussy and she's like the butch or something or something but with me, she like the feminist. Some I don't fucking know. It's weird. I, it's 2024. I was born in the 80s. I don't fucking, I don't know how you say this shit. So anyway, she is a girly girl, but she, with the girl, she is more, uh, but she still wear your little skirt, she little short shorts, but she's like the, the gangster. So she's supposedly gonna be in a relationship with this girl now so they kicking out the guy so when the guy come home they need all this stuff gone so guess who got all the stuff me so i said how much do i owe y'all for this she said you daddy and not just all the stuff I brought you us. I swear to God, I let, I, I can't give out too much. Cause like I said, man, I, I can't just listen. You got big dogs and you got little dogs and the little dogs are getting done wrong out here, man. And I'm just warning you guys, because you only got said in the comment section, watch the company you fucking keep. Because a lot of these girls are really out here slobbing and robbing. They out here conniving and thriving. They out here showing out. These bitches cannot be trusted. Tuck away your social security cards. Tuck away your credit cards. These girls are cracking cards. I'm telling y'all, I'm giving y'all the warning now. These girls are even taking PS5s, Jordans. I told them they can keep the shoes. What am I supposed to do to the shoes? PS5 may got something attached to it. Y'all keep that. I'm good on the PS5. I'm a rich nigga. But I take them 258 grams. What is that? What's that? Over, what's that, about half a pound? Yeah, close.
close to it and I take the little cash I found and yeah, ain't no ain't no tracking devices or no uh sign ins or no logins or no iClouds on no motherfucking money or on no goddamn gas. So yeah, that was a nice little come up. So I personally made what about three thousand dollars off the whole money. I call it the whole money. Without me having any prostitutes, without me um even asking. Um, when you that guy, it just come to you, but don't be greedy. Like I said, I left the PS5. I left, uh, they had a 38, a 30, they had a man gun. You know what I'm saying? Had a 38, they had something else. Uh, they robbing for everything, man. He going to be sick when he get off. And to show you how devious it is, uh, while, while one of them was slobbing me, the other one was on the ball. She was like. Bitch, <laughs> this nigga don't get paid to like next two weeks. This nigga be struggling now. He get a good check when he get it. He gonna have to spend all that to get all that back. Ah, ha, ha, ha. I'm like, damn man, y'all niggas just don't know. Y'all niggas just don't know, man. And what's crazy about it? A lot of y'all that's watching it has been a victim. Uh, and I probably got your shit, gang. Okay. <laughs>